What is going on my friends? Vitaly Dubin is here and welcome to another episode of Today's in Crypto Show. Of course, we are talking about the biggest news in the crypto industry. We're talking about Bitcoin, whether in the bull market or bear market. The fear in the markets is much less right now. Today, we're going to zoom out and look at a bigger picture on a monthly level where we are more likely to be headed in 2022 what are the levels we want to watch out for what are the big news and events happening in the crypto space that you want to pay attention for right now in DeFi, in metaverse let's get started we can see the market is slightly down today minus 1.7 percent but of course we are used to this kind of stuff, right? It's very small change. Uh, Bitcoin is actually up 1.1% on the market and Ethereum is down today, minus 2%. That's very, very small amounts. We are gearing up to something significant right here. Terra Luna is minus 17%. It's interesting why this is dropping uh, today. Uh, in a, such a big way. But let's take a look right here. The crypto gre greed and fear index shows we are 24, which are still in extreme fear, but not as fearful as we used to be. And let's take a look at the monthly candles. I'm going to show you guys, uh, it's a little bit in a different perspective uh, that we have been showing you uh, in, in this type of videos here. This is a monthly candles from the very very beginning of bitcoin in 2011 2010 you can see right here that we had those periods when uh right around this area right around this time we have a bitcoin halving event and here was another bitcoin halving event and then here was another halving event right around this time and what we can see that from the bear market after we reach an all-time high and after we declined right what we are seeing is we can measure how long it takes from the previous bear market bottom to the next high of the bull market and we can measure it right here from this month of november 2011 that was the lowest point to this peak right here in November 2013 we have seen 731 days now if you measure the next move right here from the bottom which was right here on January 2015 to the next market peak well, we had 1000 uh, 1065 days right from uh, the bottom to the peak and then we can measure right here from December 2018, right here from this month to November 2021, we're seeing 1,035 days. Now, if you understand that from this market peak of 760 days to this of 1,065, we actually see lengthening of the cycle from the bottom of the bear to the top of the bull market we're seeing lengthening of the cycles and what we are seeing right now 1035 days it's not even bigger than the previous one right and if you understand that the market the cycles of the market are lengthening we can definitely see the price of bitcoin reach new all-time highs in 2022 now what else you can understand from looking at the bigger picture is that how much the price of the next bear market is higher from the previous high so you can see right here uh, minus 65 percent right or if you measure it in a different way we can see that it is actually up 100 and uh, 70 percent approximately if you take here <coughs> from this uh, cycle peak right to the next bottom of the market it's about 460 percent right uh, now if you measure here from the previous top of 20,000 if you take 150 percent of that okay 150 percent of that that is about forty seven thousand dollars so in theory 
we should see in the bear market as what's likely to happen is this scenario we are going to go from here continue our consolidate go up reach new all-time high maybe a hundred thousand a hundred twenty thousand dollars and then start a bear market and climb all the way to about forty seven thousand dollars how about that of the continuation of 2022 and 2023 much more bullish than a lot of the media are talking about about the bear market we entered the bear market oh my god bitcoin is dead look <coughs> um, according to looking at the bigger picture 150 percent is conservative to where we're going to be in the bear market and as the cycles are lengthening you can see that we can easily go from here uh, to reach a new all-time high and then come back to about forty-seven thousand dollars at the next market bottom so there you go a little picture view of what we have going on right now now also we talked about this Gaussian channel that we entered here and we are at the bottom of this channel now it doesn't mean that we have to go down right here for another 50 percent we can be just like here uh to to kind of bounce from from there or we can be just like here that we can bounce from here and we got a pretty good move uh from the bottom to the top 65 percent over here but yeah uh, we are right now at the bottom of this channel on the Gaussian channel we picked a little bit behind below and uh you know if we are going to stay here in those levels then the likelihood that we are going if we're going to consolidate on the lowest band right here then of course the likelihood of us going down and breaking 50 percent goes up however if in the next coming weeks we are going to jump from here and we are going to do something like this get more to the middle of the channel and then eventually break out that is that's much 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 brighter outlook so we're going to see in follow in the next weeks how this is going to play out bitcoin dodges the sub thirty thousand dollars thirty thousand a big big support level for bitcoin and uh you can see beyond that level the next support is just shy of thirty thousand twenty nine thousand six hundred fifty leaving the door open for a potential sub thirty thousand liquidity grab uh bull or bear market of course that's the big question right now uh bitcoin losses from panic selling mounts in 2022 the majority of this what's going on right now is the panic selling there's the psychology of panic selling right uh psychology of selling in a loss means that only those in panic mode are likely to do so and by extension the shallower selling this month could be for a relief and you can see this for the most part we are in the red which is good green is like selling at a loss right um okay now um what else we have here going on we had the biden administration united states regulating bitcoin as a matter of national security they're claiming all of that can be good for the digital assets and crypto system as a, a lot you know a lot we can see the voices hey we need more regulation so there you go regulation is coming and the biden administration is doing that bring order to the haphazard approach that a government is now using to regulate crypto currently different aspects of the crypto market are dealt with by different agencies including sec cftc but there is little coordination consensus when it comes to classification of the many different assets in the market also we see what's been behind the scenes how these big banks are um are, are wanted to capitalize on the crypto industry the big banks that's right that's what i want to do they want to force stable coin issuers into the arms of big banks they're going to take usdt usdc paxos all of those steps squeeze them and ultimately the big beneficiary is the big banks so they want to control that part 
According to Zavi and others, the Biden administration doesn't want to kill stable coins altogether. Instead, the aim is to call what these lawmakers perceive as shadowy operation like Tether, while bringing regulator-friendly ones like Circle and Paxos under the umbrella of the U.S. banking system. Stable coins, the key to taming crypto. So it will be interesting to see the development of this, the uh, fate of the stable coins and how the governments are going to regulate those stable coins and whether or not they are going to be under control of the big bank. Now, in DeFi, there is a, a, unfortunately a hack happened to the DeFi protocol Qubit Finance when the hacker was able to walk away with $80 million in stolen crypto by exploiting a bridge of uh, Ethereum to Binance Smart Chain. Uh, the e details of how it happened, how is what able to use that is not really uh, that important, but what is important is to understand that even you know in DeFi space and good protocols, there is <coughs> a possibility of a vulnerability that can be exploited if the contract was not built in a very very robust way if those type of vulnerabilities uh, you know can happen and this th this breach was actually not being audited right so this company peck shield incorporated uh they have audited the cubitec finance smart account but they did not audit they audit the lending but they did not audit the breach i was not part of this Thanks God. Um, it didn't affect, of course, the entire Cubitech finance, but that's uh, probably the biggest attack of 2022 so far. Um, Fidelity, Fidelity, a huge corporation, six SEC approval for Metaverse ETFs. That's right. Financial services giant filed an application for an ETF that will track companies developing and selling products for the Metaverse. The Metaverse is huge. It is going to be a close to one trillion dollar industry projected by 2028. We are still very, very early in the stage, and this Metaverse ETF is definitely something that will help the ecosystem. And another big eight billion dollar bank in New York, Commercial Bank, is going to offer Bitcoin services. They are staying current with the emerging market, with the demand. Do you think? that bitcoin is going to go away when we have an eight billion dollar bank start to offer bitcoin services they give in they say okay there is a demand people want to do that let's provide them this type of a service and drip just an update keeps being the number one DeFi staking protocol in the entire crypto space on the Binance Smart Chain is the number two continuing leading the charts on DAPS, uh, DAPS radar amongst the top financial applications of, uh, of all crypto markets. If you take a look at the rankings of top blockchain DAPS across all the blockchains, uh, we are talking about a very, very reputable space in the DeFi category uh, which is right here number five the number five in all blockchains across all space of top decentralized financial application so you can learn how it works how to stake drink how to get a juicy 265 percent net yearly staking rewards by going to deflationarydailyroi.com and learn about this project learn how it works um, and, uh, and and just start using it uh, see for yourself how awesome it is and how it's growing uh, i mean it's it's amazing watch my webinar and see how to use this amazing protocol all right guys so with that being said hope you have fantastic friday fantastic weekend and i'll see you in the next episode of today in crypto show subscribe to the channel smash up the likes it definitely helps 
with the algorithm for YouTube and stay up to date with what's happening in the crypto markets. And I'll see you in the next episode of Today in Crypto Show.